so it's a uh, you know incredible uh, let's say journey because I think now it's maybe two mm -hmm. more than two years yeah. working on this on the project so of course it takes a long time but I understand now why it takes a long time because this process is really uh, very very long you know to make the blade it's right. crazy organic process so uh, and it's uh, the second time I've, I've been here as well so now I feel like I understand how the process is working mm -hmm. which is really great mm -hmm. very interesting mm -hmm. I mean I understood before from photo and picture and things oh. but to be there and to experience mm -hmm. it's uh, amazing mm -hmm. maybe once in a lifetime kind of uh, experience uh, it's not uh, working in the same time scale mm -hmm. as other industrial project you know this is really on one side very long project but uh, you know this skill has been existing for hundreds and hundreds of years so and ha it hasn't changed so that's a really different uh, perspective for me but you know I really appreciate um, craft and especially craft in, in Japan because still you know it's it's wonderful that this still exist, you know, somewhere in the world because slowly, slowly these skills are disappearing, you know, all over the world. And I think it's really important that uh, somehow this skill is uh, protected mm -hmm. and preserved. So I hope my, let's say, my involvement can somehow help just a little bit but you know not only for myself but for this skill in, in general and craft in general but uh, in Japan it's one of the birth place of, of craft for me you know it's the most important one of the most important country mm. to experience this kind of thing it's very linked to uh, to craft you know to, to making things the civilization in Japan it's a really very closely closely connected. It's a very difficult situation, but I think it's uh, not only in Japan, unfortunately, it's, it's everywhere. But maybe in Japan, uh, there still exists some possibility to, to keep this uh, craft going into the future. Um, this is industry, somehow. It's kind of craft-based industry but katana this this uh, business is uh, small has limited appeal now as as always but uh, it should be protected so you know I hope that the project that we're doing here will appeal to a different market different kind of people maybe more people have more understanding of art and more used to understanding the value of this object, you know, more sophisticated people outside of Japan as well. Because you have many, uh, many, let's say, sophisticated people who can appreciate this product. We need to take to them to make them aware. Mm. Probably <laughs> they won't come here, so we need to go to them.